How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome to part one of our Man Process video will be on how to score your deer antlers. Or, yeah. So, I'm gonna can cut out the other talking that I did because I did this, try to make this video a couple other times. My video cut out, so I have to do this in several parts. So, just bear with me. So, um, I'm not going to do as much sucking as I did in the last videos because I just waste time. So, what I'm going to do is just show you um, the first couple of measurements, precisely how to do them, and then it'll be part two. So, let me go and move you guys and show you guys the one we're going to be working on. So, here's the one we're going to be working on. Let me see if I can give you guys a better view. Move you guys closer. Okay, so this is the one I'm working on right here. This is a 10 point um, white tailed deer that a friend of my, that a friend of my, that a guy that my dad worked with, that a guy that my dad works with gave me this, that's what I'm trying to say. So this is not one that I hunted and killed, unfortunately, but that's beside the point. So I use a very specific uh, website. Let me go ahead and open it up. It is Boone and Croquet, or Crockett, however you want to say that. I think it's Croquet. Um, I use this website. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me see if you guys can. It's kind of hard to see. Sorry, I'm, sorry I have all the blur. But it's really hard to see. So just bear with me. Let me see if I can focus on it. There it is. So, or I'm going to zoom in here. So here's the website I'm using, Boone and Crockett, Crockett, I think it is Crockett. I will put the link in the description for you guys to go check it out. It works with just about any kind of trophy you have. Moose, caribou, sheep, uh, pronghorn, all that stuff. So, and I'm just going to show you guys how to get there. So go to Big Game Record, which is the fourth one. Go all the way down to the bottom where it says scoring your trophy. It's the fourth one on the bottom. That, that one here. You guys can't see this. Right there. So again, go to big game scores right there. Oop, you guys cannot see that. There we go. Okay. So go to big game scores, scoring your trophy down here. And you go to the second one from the bottom, scoring calculators. This is the place where you're going to choose what you're going to score. Like I said, they have a ton of different stuff. Elk, moose. We're going to do typical white-tailed deer. Alright, so here it is. Take a look at it. It is a lot of stuff, but just bear with me. It will be in several parts, so it won't be too boring. So, I'm going to kind of zoom in. You guys can see better. And let me focus. Okay. So, the first thing you're going to do is... Define it if it's a white-tailed deer or a coos white-tailed deer. I have a regular white-tailed deer. I will also put the link a link in the description on where I get the skull because I got it at Cabela's. For I got this, and I also got whoops, sorry, I'm in the way. It also comes with the second part, which I'm going to be using for another trophy. So I have those two. I will put the link in the de description for that as well. So, first thing we need to know is how many points we have on your chamber. So, if you look here, we have one, two, three, four, and five here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, please correct me if I'm wrong. For, in order for it to be a point, if it's small, small enough that you can't define it, measure it, and if it's at least an inch long, then it's considered a point. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And then we have two here and two here. So it's a 10 point buck total. Or a deer. So, I'm going to go and enter that. I am using my iPad Mini, iPad Mini 2. Just so you guys can see it, because if it was an iPhone 4, which I'm recommending with now, it would be very hard to see. So, what's wrong with that? Tip to tip spray. Pretty self explanatory. Tip, so the main beam tip, the main beam tip. 
to this very, very straightforward. Just gonna measure that. I have already measured this, pre-measured this stuff, to, just to make it easier on myself. So we're gonna go ahead and do A through, we'll go A through D for part one. So, yeah, see that is 20. Greatest spread. That's not from here to here. It's literally how wide is the entire thing. So it's from about here, the edge of this point, to about there to this point. This point's a bit wider than this point. I don't know why. So, get your tape measure out. Let's go a little bit past this horn to that horn. So it's about 27 now. Twenty seven and a half. Next, the last thing for this video is the inside spread of the main beams. And that now is when we do this point to this point. So, I'm gonna grab your tape measure. I recommend using one that's at least twelve feet long. I know nothing is gonna be even close to that length, but it's better to have more than less. So let's go and measure it. It's about 21 and a half. Let's go down there. 21.5. Now, it looks like part two will have E and F, and then part three will be G, and then part four will be H, and the final part. So four parts. So that's it for this part. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.